Hi, and welcome back to the Vagrant from Scratch course. So far in the course, we've only looked at Linux boxes and environments. In this video, we're going to explore how we can create Windows boxes using Packer, and also how we can use those Windows boxes within our Vagrant environments. Let's get started. We're going to create our own Windows box using a tool called Packer. Packer is maintained by HashiCorp, the same company which created Vagrant. The first thing we need to do is download a repository which contains Windows templates for Packer. The link to the repository will be in the video description. Essentially, the repository contains all of the files needed by Packer to automatically build Windows boxes for the many different versions of Windows. We will look at the files in more detail in a minute, but for now, just click the clone or download button and choose to download the repository as a zip file. Once that's done, extract the contents of the zip file. I'm just going to extract it in the downloads folder for this demo. The next step is to download Packer itself. Head on over to packer.io slash downloads.html and choose to download Packer for your platform. In my case, I'm going to demo this on Windows, so I'll download the 64-bit Windows version. Once it has been downloaded, extract the zip file and cut and paste the packer.exe file so that it is placed in the root directory of the repository that we extracted a few seconds ago. To be sure you've placed it in the right location, the packer.exe file should be in the same directory as all of the template and JSON files. Let's take a minute to understand exactly what the files we have extracted are. In the root directory of the repository, there are template and JSON files for different versions of Windows. All of these are just text files, so you should be able to open them up in your text editor. But beware, these files all use Unix line endings, so they will not open correctly in Notepad. If you want to see the contents of these files, use a text editor which recognizes Unix line endings and you'll be fine. The template files are just example template vagrant files for the different versions of Windows. We won't be using these for this video, so we will just ignore them. The JSON files contain the data which Packer will use to create the Windows boxes. For this video, I'm going to demo the creation of a Windows 10 box, so let's open up the Windows 10 JSON file. The file contains key value pairs that Packer will use to automate the build of the box. At the bottom of the file is a section called Variables. This contains the URL link to the image that will be used for the box, as well as some configuration settings. A parameter that I want you to pay attention to is the Auto Unattend parameter, which shows a relative path to an XML file called AutoUnattend.xml. The AutoUnattend.xml file contains all of the information needed to automatically install Windows. I'll add a link to the video description so you can read more about the file if you're interested. Before we begin creating the Windows box, we need to make a slight change to a file. Open the scripts directory and then open the compact.bat file in your text editor. Now scroll down right to the bottom. As part of the build process, the command calling sdelete is supposed to be run. As it currently stands, in early 2018, there is a bug, and this command can take up more than 72 hours to complete. We don't want that, so we will just comment it out by adding two colons before the line. This command will now not run. Now we are ready to begin the build of our Windows box. Open a command prompt at the root directory of the repository and type the command packer build and give the name of the .json file for the version of Windows you want to create a box for. I'm going to go with the Windows 10 box as I said before, so my command will be packer build windows underscore 10.json. This command will now run the automated build process for your box. Since we're only using VirtualBox, all of the other providers such as VMware will fail. This is fine, because we will still get a box produced that will work for the VirtualBox hypervisor. Now this is going to take a very, very long time. One of the things you can do to gauge the status of your build is open VirtualBox and wait for your Windows VM to appear. Once it is there, right click it and choose to show it. This will show the status of the build much more clearly than the command prompt. For this demo, I'm going to speed up the video because in reality, the build will take many, many hours and the machine will have to reboot many times. Eventually, the build will finish and an artifact will be published. In this case, the artifact is named Windows underscore 10 underscore virtual box dot box. As you can see here, the box file has been built and is placed alongside the other files in your repository. It's a whopping 10 gigabyte in size. You've now built your Windows box. Now that we've got our Windows box, we need to actually use it within an environment. The first thing we need to do is add the box to our local cache of boxes. We can do that by running the command vagrant box add and passing two parameters. The first parameter is the name that we want to give to the box, which in my case, I will choose to be win-10. 
The second parameter is the path to the box. Since the box file is within the directory I'm running the command from, I can just pass the relative path like this, but an absolute path would work here as well. With the win-10 box being added to our local cache, we can now create a vagrant file referring to it as the box to use within our environment. Let's create a new project directory and run the vagrant init command passing in the box name of win-10. This will create a basic vagrant file in the directory with the box set to win-10. Let's open the vagrant file and edit it slightly. We'll delete all of the unnecessary comments and directives, but we will keep the virtual box specific settings. Since it is Windows, we want to show the graphical user interface, and we want to set our memory to something reasonable, like 4GB. With our vagrant file set, we can run the command vagrant up, and watch vagrant bring up our environment. I've sped up the video here to save some time. During the process of bringing up your environment, you may be prompted to allow VirtualBox to have specific network access. You should grant this access. Once Windows starts, we can log in as the user Vagrant by using the password Vagrant. And there you have your Windows 10 machine up and running. Let's shut it down by running the command Vagrant Halt. And that's that. You now understand how you can build your own Windows boxes for Vagrant by utilising Packer and then use those boxes within your own environments. Check out the next video in the course, be sure to subscribe and even watch some of the other videos available on my channel.